This is Theme Park Thursday with Dillo's Days. We both loved it for different, it somehow grabbed us both, you know, it yeah. somehow pulled us both in. And, and a lot of that, it has to just do with the casting yeah. of so many likable, like you said, the person next door, but the likability on, you know, almost the entire cast practically mm -hmm. just jumping out of the screen and pulling you in. It, it, it really, the casting is one of the, I feel like a great story within uh, this program. Absolutely. And I'm sure like, I, I mean, I hope someone interviews Matt Casella at some point. I know, I know he's probably like really under the radar. So I, you know, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't personally spoken to him for many years. Um, but it just seems like when anybody speaks about him, any of us talk about him. Like if I didn't already have allergies, I'd be tearing, you know, I'd be tearing <laughs> up anyway, because um, it is, it was the casting. It was the chemistry that made that happen. Side note. If you have a teacher friend, public school, mm -hmm. and they say there's just this one class, like it's, it's the combination. It's not that they're all bad, mm. but there's just the two talkers. And then it's the end of the day. And there's the one that always like shows up late. And then there's the one rebel, right? And then the whole, so the whole group gets in trouble. And she's like, I don't understand how, how this combination has come to be, but it is <laughs> the perfect storm, right? It's the opposite with the <laughs> house club. We, like if you had put just half of us together, it wouldn't have had the same like atomic reaction. And mm -hmm. you've got some of us that just bounce off each other. And, you know, even though I like to say that, in, that really at heart, I'm kind of a still waters type of lady. Like I, I really, I really am introverted and I think <laughs> long, deep, quiet thoughts. A lot. I do. I do. I'm not hilarious most of the time. <laughs> Very chill. But, but like on that show, I was like, oh, like I really did just sort of ham up a bunch of stuff. And I was, I would react off of someone else. And then, and then other people maybe were quiet off camera and then they explode on camera. And, you know, I, again, I've just kind of saturated some, some recent days with some home videos and, and kind of watching us all together. And, you know, when people weren't, didn't think anyone was looking, you know, they would just give each other this hug or, you know, Tiffany's looking out for Lindsay when she kind of like fell face down on the ground during this, like, it's hard to explain, like a hayride or something. Mm. And um, people were throwing hay and she kind of just gave this look that maybe not everyone would know what it meant, but I caught it on the, on the video. And I was like, she's like, give her a break, man. Like, that's kind of what she looked like. And we just, you know, we were all, we were trained to be a family in the mm -hmm. beginning. You know, over the years, it did become more professional with different boundaries and, you know, just a lot more professional growth and, and polish and sheen. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, I think that's what I had to find for myself was what is it for me being on the inside that yeah. makes me just so like a very unique personality of Die Hard, a very unique formula for that show because I was a Mouseketeer. Like, why is that? Why am I such a fan as well in the way that I am? Mm -hmm. of of everyone on the one side of the screen as well as everyone on on the other side of the screen and it's because at 10 years old I was taught to be that was part of my family I was taught to be a sister mm -hmm. and um we did everything together we we did all the holidays we had Thanksgiving picnic and we celebrated everybody's birthdays and um hung out at the apartments together and the brothers and sisters were in school with us and the parents were on the, the, the sound stage with us. Can you imagine like eight momagers on the sound stage <laughs> being quiet? You know, everyone has their camcorders out. Like it was, it was very intertwined. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of what made us on screen work in the beginning was because we really just didn't have this, careful pretense or this like boundary with each other we we really were all just like rah, 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 we're all together yeah. we're just all together all the time <laughs> and i think that showed you know there was such a comfort level there yeah um especially for some of us who maybe were like more compartmentalized and like could be introverted at times mm -hmm. we felt permission to like yeah. yeah go big go go goofy it's great you know especially me who didn't have anything else to compare it to like brandy had been on broadway brayden had been on broadway albert mm -hmm. was 
this accomplished ballet dancer and had done a lot of work. Like everybody had, most of them I felt had more experience than I did Mm -hmm. and looking up to them and feeling like I was a part of the family was, you know, I didn't know how important that was at the time, you know? So that's what I saw. And I think that was the point. Matt wanted it that way. Yeah. Matt wanted us to be all different, but come together like we did. And they wanted, he wanted you to see that. Yeah. He wanted you. And that's exactly what happened, which is why I'm, I'm saying like it, yeah. it's like your brothers and your sisters and the neighbors and the people that you should be hanging out with are on the screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think everyone watching felt represented in one way or another and, whatever part of the country you were from, whatever background you were from, you kind of, you connected with someone on the screen, if not everyone for different reasons. Yeah. 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 There was something for everybody. You know, I, I think that, that was, that was a big goal. Yeah.